Hi, uh, my name is Li Qi. Uh, I have been at Ang Scott uh, for uh, 15 years. Uh, I teach economics. Uh, my field is behavioral economics and finance. So a lot of people feel that economics is just about talking about money and <laughs> wealth, but actually economics is a lot more than that. It's a really broad science and it deals with uh, scarcity issues and how to allocate resources. Um, when you think about that, I could argue almost, you know, there's economics in almost everything that you encounter in life, you know, from big questions like what a society produces and what people um, consume and uh, to smaller questions, maybe like, you know, how you allocate your time throughout a day, right? So those are all uh, allocation of resources type of questions and um, economics also has a lot to do with uh, decision making um, how people respond to incentives so uh, you will see that this is a, a broad field where you can apply the principles uh, that you learn here can be applied to so many aspects um, uh, in society and in your own life as well so um, our courses are designed, you know, we start with introducing basic uh, economics principles, uh, looking at the economy overall uh, in macroeconomics, uh, as well as, you know, looking at individual choices and individual behavior, and that's on the microeconomic side. And then after you have that uh, foundation courses, we elevate to a, a deeper level uh, where you start to uh, see, you know, more theories um, and as well as, you know, methodology that economists use to look at data, to test different hypotheses. Uh, and then uh, towards the end of your uh, college uh, time here, students will actually work on individual research project that, you know, that your, their intellectual curiosity guides them uh, to find the questions and the data. Uh, and then uh, put you know what they have learned throughout the years together to uh, finish a group uh, sorry individual project. So we really use different uh, pedagogy uh, styles, especially given uh, you know we take into consideration of the level of the courses, um, the preparation of our students, um, and uh, the type of skills that we want our students to have. And so uh, there are uh, lecture-based uh, courses. Uh, there are online interactive uh, learning tools, uh, but there also can be a lot of in-class group activities and group discussions as well. Um, and for some higher level uh, courses, we encourage students to just be inspired by what they, they observe you know, from the world, from their own lives, from their community and uh, connect to those things they observe um, with the materials that we covered in class and learn to collect data and perform evidence-based research and uh, draw a conclusion from those exercises. Our department actually has a really strong record in uh, placing our students and supporting them to pursue graduate studies. Uh, in fact, a few years back, a Journal of Economics Education article uh, found out that AGSCA ranks second in the nation um, in the number of eventual PhD, uh, economics PhD students you know, per student head, per, per, I think it's per thousand undergraduate degrees awarded. Um, and so uh, you will find, you know, the support and encouragement uh, from your faculty if you want to pursue graduate studies. Now, if you're interested in master level graduate studies, um, we've done that uh, uh, really well too. Uh, for example, um, you know, Georgia Tech and Emory Universities, they all have been uh, reaching out to Agnes Scott's and taking the initiatives, really want to work with Agnes Scott students uh, for their master level finance degree, industrial engineering degrees um, that um, also has like a due component with uh, economics. So. Um, those are really exciting opportunities. And speaking of local connections, uh, Atlanta is just an exciting place to be with great business prospects as well. 
Um, and Alanda is also the financial technology center, the fintech center of the world. Um, we have done really well uh, placing our students in you know, exciting career paths. Uh, we have uh, students intern at the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. We have um, students, um, you know, uh, found a career with, you know, J.P. Morgan, Microsoft, uh, AT&T, Deloitte. Uh, so lots of exciting uh, business corporation uh, opportunities for our students. Uh, to me, liberal arts college and liberal arts education, it's not about just you know, gaining knowledge or doing in-depth studies of your own field or your major of study. Uh, liberal arts education, it's about, you know, gaining knowledge from a wide range of disciplines, from sciences, arts, humanities, and social sciences. And it's about also gaining lifelong learning skills uh, and maintaining that intellectual curiosity. Um, what makes a good economist is not just someone who can crunch up numbers and you know, turn uh, out some regression <laughs> results um, from data points, but we need someone who you know, understand the context where these social and, and economic issues arise. As someone who uh, understand history, um, the social institutions, um, the political background, uh, and uh, you know cultural influences and so on. So I think that the liberal arts uh, education that's a great approach to provide great found, uh, to provide a good foundation for uh, studying economics. I teach a class called um, behavioral economics and finance. Uh, my work is interdisciplinary, so it has a lot to do. Uh, with intersection of psychology and economics, I'm just fascinated uh, with humans' behavior and the choices that we make. Um, and in this class, uh, I encourage my students to uh, observe things that just, you know, that's intriguing to them. You know, why people behave the way they do, why sometimes facts don't change our uh, beliefs, <laughs> why sometimes we ignore information that could lead us to make better choices. Um, and, you know, students are encouraged to find these uh, phenomena uh, that they observe in their daily lives or things they read about and connect to, uh, you know, the behavioral factors, the cognitive factors uh, that we talked about in class. And um, often, they can design an experiment using our uh, class uh, online experimental portal to test a lot of their ideas and also to test if um, any interventions you know, aim to change people's behavior actually worked. Um, and sometimes our students, because it's online, they can invite you know, uh, people to respond or to participate in their uh, experiments from all over the world or from different schools and uh, they find you know interesting uh, results um, so that's that's a really fun course for me to teach <laughs>